American Beer TV. Today we are tasting from Laurelwood Brewing mm -hmm. Company. This is their workhorse IPA. Yeah. So uh, Laurelwood was one of the first organic breweries, if not the first organic brewery up in Oregon. So yeah. um, you know they're in uh, Portland, right? Yeah. yeah. So all of their um, they, they they basically have a number of, of smaller brew pubs, um, not a really a designated brewing facility, but. Um, as one of the first organics, all of their beers have um, a pretty unique flavor, so I've heard. I haven't had too many of them. I believe we've had uh, one before, um, uh, but um, yeah, I've tried a, I've tried a few of their beers over the years. Uh, I haven't had this one yet. Yeah, they say this one's their favorite. Um, the head brewer, uh, you know, loves this one. This one's 80 IBUs. Um, Seven and a half percent. Yeah, it's made with so. like two row, um, like a, a sixty uh, uh, 40, caramel malt, six, forty caramel, 40 caramel malt, uh -huh. and uh, what was the last? Carapils, one? I think. Carapils, yeah. And then um, what were the hops? Hops: Simcoe, Simcoe Amarillo, Amarillo um, Sentinel, and uh, uh, the basic one, Cascade. Yeah. Cascades. So, so gotta have them Cascades exactly. in your IPA. Definitely. So they call this one a Northwest IPA uh, instead of just a West Coast IPA. This is a specifically a Northwest IPA. So uh, so and this being organic, as mm -hmm. we've tried before on the show, the organic beers always have this really unique yeah. uh, complexity to their. Yeah, uh, they really have a freshness to it. Yeah. Um, you know, so I'm really looking forward to this. So uh, let's uh, take let's a look at it. It's got a nice orangey. Uh, it's fairly light bright. amber. Yeah, it's pretty bright, pretty clear. I wouldn't say you could read through it totally, but for the most part, pretty clear. So, very nice. Um, head doesn't seem to be staying around for very long, but it right. rips white bat right Little back. Little rocky, not super fluffy. Exactly. Color. So, let's go into the nose now. Oh wow, that's a nice nose. Mm -hmm. uh, I I get this. Mm. I get I get that. Cascade, yeah, off the nose. It's really li nice, light. fresh, mm -hmm. little sweetness from the mm -hmm. malt. You're getting lots little, of fruit, little citrusy. Yeah. Lot, yeah, lots of. I'm getting uh, lots of citrus. It's like, you know, uh, some orange, grapefruit. Um, real nice. Uh, you're not picking. Up, I'm not picking up any of those real dank aroma, uh, mm -hmm. hop aromas like the Simcoe would lend. I think. Um, but it just smells really light, fresh, fruity, some floral notes. Yeah, it smells real nice. A little sweetness comes yeah. in. Yeah. So right, let's, taste, let's it. taste it. Cheers. That's good. That's, that's what I call a drinkable IPA. Very drinkable. Wow. Um, yeah, through the middle, the malt has a really, really nice, mm -hmm. uh, like caramel flavor kind of right, comes right. through. Just really, really, uh, really mellow. Yep. And the I, hops are there, but totally don't overpower the beer at no, all. No, I'm just getting a little bit wow. in the throat. But really, what this is really big on flavor. It does come off at eight percent. It's starting to go into some of the double IPA categories in terms of strength. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay, I thought it was eight. Uh, but anyway, so we're backing off a little bit. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> excuse me. pretty. That's a good amount of alcohol in it. Yeah, beer, definitely. So. so you've got, some, but it's really got a nice bready, you know, um, malt f flavor to it right up front. Some caramel notes, uh, some toffee notes, that kind of stuff, and then it goes into a really nice light hop flavor profile. And by light hop, I mean. Not that there's not a lot of flavor, but it's the lighter, fruitier, right? You know, more it's floral not that type super of pungent, dank no. bitterness or anything. But the Simcoe like does add a little bit, I think, in the mouthfeel. You are getting a little bit in the back of the throat, kind of, but a little bit, very little. I mean, this is a really easy drinking uh, IPA. It's almost with the strength. I would say it's almost like a. Starting to get into a, like a double IPA for strength, but if you kept the hops the at the same level there for, a, too, for a regular yeah. IPA, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. The body of the beer, you know, yeah. does taste, you know, is up there with the eight, eight and a half percent yeah. double IPA. Really, 
But since it, it seems kind of light on hops yeah, for that, the, it's it, it it comes across being a lot more drinkable. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I could. I think it could be dangerous because yeah, it's so it drinkable. You're just gonna want to pound it. Yeah. So, really nice beer. Really nice, complex. Lots of different flavor profiles are coming through on this. I like yeah. these hop the, these these kinds of IPAs. Yeah, I do too. And I was gonna say, after you get a couple sips, the the malt really starts to meld well with mm-hmm. those hops. Mm-hmm. So you get a, that, like you said, a bready. You get that nice caramel yeah. and bready notes from the from the malt. Mm-hmm. Really good. Good so, job, yeah. Laurelwood. All yeah, right. Definitely. So I mean, I, I I I'm finding I like these more than the you know the, the yeah the, just sometimes the huge those crazy monsters. yeah really over the top hoppy beers. They're fun to drink, yeah, yeah. But I mean, for you know, an everyday drinker, they just—it's just too much. Especially when you pair those beers with food, I find that they just kind of dominate your palate. And then yeah. if you're trying to eat anything, a little one-dimensional. Yeah, you kind of end up unless you're eating pizza. Yeah, it's kind of cool when you're eating pizza. But yeah. if you eat anything with spices, or those kind of uh, overpower the uh, yeah the so, I mean, flavor yeah. profile yeah. of whatever you're eating. Well, all right, man. Okay, cool. Good cheers. Beer. Cheers. Definitely. Get out there and drink craft beer.